If you're drowning in debt and just don't know where to turn, help is available. Attorney Diana Long will help you get your financial situation resolved. I'm Attorney Diana Long. I'm dedicated to helping hardworking folks just like you. Bankruptcy protection can help you get your financial life back in order, and I can show you how. If you're ready to stop the harassing phone calls and letters, I can help. Call me in Columbia at 442-8123 to schedule your free, no-obligation consultation. Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends. This is Monday. It's November the 21st. We're in Thanksgiving week. And one of our topics deals with... Uh, eating sensibly during the holidays. But first of all, let's start out with Margaret Tollerton, Missouri Cures. Welcome back to Radio Friends, Thank Margaret. Thank you, Paul. And happy Thanksgiving to you about three or four days early. Thank you. Same to you. When, when we were talking before we went on today, I said, what do you want to discuss? And she said, I want to discuss hope. hope. That's right. Especially, don't you find around the holidays that um, holidays can be emotional? Yes, very And much so. especially, I find through all the people that I meet around the state by um, my travels with Missouri Cures, people who have afflictions and diseases and you know different medical conditions are even more susceptible to high emotion over the holidays. Exactly. And or so, if you have lost someone. Oh, that's a real if good point, too. If you've lost someone. The holidays can be either a happy time or a depressing time, de depending on how you look at it. I, I like to true. think of it as a happy time because even though you've lost someone, they're still with you in spirit. That's true. And actually, um, my parents have um, left probably 15, 20 years ago, something like that. And over the holidays, I really like to honor them by cooking their favorite dish yeah. or yeah. something like yeah. that. You know. Or setting an extra plate on That's, the table. Oh, well, setting I haven't done a... that, but yeah. Yeah. Um, good ideas. Well, as far as Missouri Cures and stem cell research, um, in October, I was able to go to the World Stem Cell Summit. And what struck me was all these scientists and researchers that I had never met, so chances are you have never met, mm -hmm. and you have never met, and all of these people are focused on trying to find better treatments, better therapies, if not cures, for all these things that people are suffering from. Exactly. And so and that really gives me hope, and that's what I like to share with others. The and hope and, and that progress, progress really is being made. I saw a report on uh, ABC News uh, the other evening that through the stem cell research, a, a man who had had bypass surgery and was dying now has his heart, his own heart, healing itself. Isn't that remarkable? And not just on ABC, but I would encourage all of your listeners, Paul, to come to our website, MissouriCures.com, to read up on all the recent breakthroughs. You know, I certainly have my favorites, um, but just the knowledge that these breakthroughs are happening, mm -hmm. um, and hopefully that knowledge will give the readers of our website, the members of Missouri Cures, the, your listeners of Paul Pepper, that hope to meet the cure halfway. Yeah. And not everybody agrees with the research that is going on. That's true. Not everyone agrees now, with Now, fortunately, it, the newest statistics in... Um, polling show that the majority of Americans support embryonic stem cell research. I think the latest is 62 percent, something like that. Now, fortunately, Missouri Cures is a nonprofit organization that supports all stem cell research. Actually, we support and promote medical and scientific research, mm -hmm. and it all kind of converges into the benefits of stem cell research. Okay, what's the website if people want more information? www.missouricures.com. And you can read all about it? And then some. All right. All right. Margaret Tollerton, thank you so much for coming by. Thank you, Paul. And happy Thanksgiving to you. Same okay. to you. Now, we're going to talk about eating sensibly uh, and Thanksgiving and Christmas and New Year's, which is just around the corner. We have mm -hmm. Jessica Ellis with us, Central Missouri Dietetic Association. Yes. Good to have you with us on, on Radio Friends. So we're, we're in Thanksgiving week mm -hmm. now, and this is the time of the year when we start eating. And a lot of times we eat because we feel that we need to eat more mm -hmm. during the holidays. Not necessarily because we want to, we feel like we need to. Yeah. So how do we avoid that? Well, 
Thanksgiving is such an eating holiday. That's yeah. what it, everything focuses around is eating. So some ways to do that is if you remember my pyramid, the United States Department of Agriculture just came out with something called my plate. So when you're going around the table, we don't have the pyramid anymore. No, we don't have the pyramid the anymore. Pyramid's we gone? have a, it's gone. <laughs> okay. So we have a plate picture that makes your plate half fruits and veggies, a quarter lean protein, so your turkey, and then another quarter whole grains or your starches. Okay. So, a, well, but most people are going to yeah. treat a little bit on Thanksgiving. Exactly. So if you can make most of your meal look like that, and then pick the foods that you really, really like mm -hmm. and are really treats for you and kind of make sure you're just having a little bit, not overdoing that. Yeah, see here's, this is a problem that I have. Now, I have plenty of fruits and vegetables in, mm -hmm. my, in my diet, uh, but when I look at what is recommended serving size yeah. for people, I kind of roll my eyes there mm -hmm. because what, when you're talking about serving size, what, three ounces of, is it three or four ounces? Three of, ounces of a lean meat. So that's about the size of your palm or a deck of cards is usually a typical serving. Yeah. So, and you're even talking about three ounces of a serving of fish, right? Yeah, of fish. So if you have salmon, that's like, for me, <laughs> Yeah. it's, it's like <laughs> one bite, one or two bites. Well, but that's what is the recommended serving mm -hmm. size. Three ounces. And what about vegetables? Vegetables, that's where half your plate comes in. It's anywhere from a half a cup to a whole cup depending on if they're cooked now, or if you it's raw. Eat, you could eat more oh, vegetables. You, especially the veggies like lettuce and things like that. You want to get your fill of those because they're so low in calories, they're going to fill you up, and then you're not going to be craving you know, right. those really high-carb, high high-fat foods. Okay, now what about desserts then? Desserts? Well, there's some simple ways you can make some of the desserts you already love a little bit healthier. Okay. So when you're baking for the holidays, you can use skim milk or evaporated skim milk in okay. pumpkin pies. You could replace some of the fat and oils in your cakes with applesauce. Or you can even use Greek yogurt to substitute for shortening. Oh, really? Yeah, and it turns out great. It's very moist. So if you're making a cheesecake and it calls for butter in the crust, you can put you can substitute yogurt for that? Not not in the crust of a cheesecake. For that, I would do I would still use a little bit of butter. Okay. But then you can also use something like a light margarine. Okay. That will still melt well, but take a little bit of that fat out. Oh, you make it sound so easy. So it, it, it takes practice. And so sensible. If people want more information, uh, what can they do? Um, well, they can go to www.hyvee.com, mm -hmm. and we have tons of Thanksgiving recipes and tips for eating all for the holidays. Okay. All right. Uh, Jessica Ellis from Central Missouri Dietetic Association, thank you so much thank for you. coming by. And I wish you a very happy Thanksgiving. Thank you. And I know you will be eating sensibly. I will be trying to. <laughs> okay. All right. We're out of time for today. Tomorrow, MU Children's Hospital and the Maples Rep Theater are our topics. Our director is Travis McMillan. Our, from the Reynolds Journalism Institute audio is Raymond Tungakar. He's sitting in for Pat Akers from KBIA. Our floor director is Eric Stazak, and our assistant producer and guest coordinator, Uncle James Mauser. Thank you for joining us today. We will see you tomorrow at 8.50. And if you have any suggestion, drop me an email, pepperp at missouri.edu. Bye-bye.